Welcome to Cam Look, your bi-weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will talk about a work from our collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back at 10 a.m. on those days for new works and new conversations. Hi, I'm Jessica, the Art Bridges Fellow at the Cincinnati Art Museum, and today I'm going to be talking about this unique work from our collection. This piece, titled The Bark Patriot, was painted by American folk artist Charles A. Owens and is currently on display in Gallery 219. Charles A. Owens was born the child of an opera singer and saxophone player, and he began his art-making practice at a very young age. According to Owens, his first ever painting, a full-color map of the United States, won him a prize in a school competition when he was only six or seven years old. While he spent his childhood in Maysville, Kentucky, Owens moved to Columbus, Ohio in 1949, where he worked alongside fellow African-American folk artist Elijah Pierce. Though the definition of folk art has been debated and blurred throughout the years, folk artists are recognized as those who did not adhere strictly to the mainstream and academic artistic currents of the time. As a result, much folk art does not take traditional forms, such as paintings on canvas, Rather, it often took the shape of shop signs, ship figureheads, bird decoys, and other functional objects. While Owens did work in the more traditional medium of paint, his paintings were characterized by flatness and the nostalgic simplification of his subjects, traits that can also be clearly seen in the work of other folk artists, such as Elijah Pierce and Clementine Hunter. While he was a talented and passionate artist, Owens was not a professional artist, actually holding a variety of jobs. Throughout his life, he worked as a baker, an ice cream maker, a construction worker, a chef, a mechanic, and more. Painting instead in his free time and in his retirement, he appreciated and created art for the mental and emotional benefits, stating that it calmed his nerves and took his mind off other things. Owens found inspiration for his paintings from a variety of sources, including his memories, the world around him, and books. Many of his paintings contained either biblical or historical references, as we can see here with the inclusion of a historic merchant ship, though he didn't hesitate to add his own whimsical spin. This painting depicts three ships, all flying American flags, as well as what appear to be Polish flags, with white on top and red on the bottom. The ship sitting proudly front and center is named the Bark Patriot and was a real ship. According to an inscription on the back of the work, in ships such as this, Salem's merchants did business with distant lands. The Bark Patriot, built in 1809, was used in both the Baltic and East India trade. The picture shows her off the city of Copenhagen. The Bark Patriot and the two ships behind it all contain sailors who wave their arms with glee as they gaze at a group of mermaids swimming in the waves right below them. Some of these sailors are even standing on the bowsprit, that pole that extends off the front of the ship. Don't try that at home. While the subjects are by no means rendered in extreme detail, Owens put great care into accurately depicting the complex rigging and billowing sails of the ship. He also made sure to include delighted expressions on a few of the sailors, emphasizing their excitement at this unexpected mermaid visit. This quirky mixture of history, reality, and fantasy truly brings a unique charm and joy to this piece. The discussion question today is how does making art make you feel? Does it relax and calm you like it did for Charles Owens or does it energize and excite you? Maybe try creating an artwork of your own today and seeing how it makes you feel. Thank you for joining me on today's Cam Look. We look forward to seeing you again at 10 a.m. every Tuesday and Thursday.